today we are going to go over um, some perimeter and area, finding them with some pretty basic uh, word problems. So let's start with figuring out how we find perimeter and area. So area just equals length times width. Uh, area specifically of a rectangle or square uh, equals length times width. Uh, perimeter is you just add up all of the sides, right? So um, let's get to it. So a piece of plywood was cut, so its length was 8 feet by 4 feet. What is the area of the wood? So area, like I said, equals length times width. So we are just multiplying 8 times 4, which equals 32. But when we're talking about area, you always have to put feet squared. So this little 2 is uh, above, is an exponent, and it just means squared. So we can put 32 feet squared. You could call 32 squared feet, however you want to say it. But you always have to make sure that when you're talking about area, it is squared. Uh, a book had a length of 5 inches and a width of 10 inches. What is the area of the book? Once again, we're just multiplying length times width. So 5 times 10 equals 50. So it is 50 and then inches squared. Okay, uh, a rectangular swimming pool was 9 meters wide with a surface area of 90 square meters. What is the length of the pool? So I know that area equals length times width. So let's fill in what we know because they didn't give us length and width to find the area. They gave us width and uh, area. So area equals length times width. So let's fill in the area equals length times 9, right? So 90 equals L times 9. So we're trying to find the length. So really, if they give you the area and then one of the uh, one of the side lengths, in this case the width, then all you're doing is dividing. So it would be 90 divided by 9 which would then equal 10 meters. And in this case, since we're not finding the area, this is actually for the length, uh, it's not squared, right? Because length and width are not squared, only the area is squared. So an envelope from the post office is three inches wide with a total area of 30 square inches. What is the height of the envelope? So I guess height would just be another term for length, right? And we're doing the same thing. We're just dividing because they gave us uh, the area and they gave us one of the sides. So it would be 30 divided by 3 and also would equal 10 inches. All right, now for number 5, a book had a length of 5 inches and a width of 8 inches. What is the perimeter of the book? So they're switching it up, going to perimeter now. So, if the book had a length of 5 inches and a width of 8 inches, remember, perimeter is just adding up all of the sides. So what I can do is I can draw the circle, or I, I'm sorry, the rectangle, and just put all of the sides and then add them up. So, 8 plus 8 is 16, 5 plus 5 is 10, so 10 plus 16 equals 26 inches, okay? But another way we can do it on a rectangle or any four-sided square or any four-sided shape, any quadrilateral, what you can do, no, I'm, I'm sorry, this only works for uh, like a rectangular square. Uh, because the opposite sides will be the same. So basically, um, the perimeter of a rectangle, you can just add the length and width together. 5 plus 8 equals 13, and then you can just double it, right? 
and 13 times 2 also equals 26. And the reason this works is because when you see a shape that has 8 and 5 as the length and width, uh, you know that that's two out of the four sides and the other two out of the four sides are exactly, they're going to be the same. There's going to be another five and another eight. So you can just add the length and width and then double it, right? Um, multiply it by two and you can get the same answer uh, for whenever you're doing a perimeter of a rectangle or a square. Technically, the perimeter of a square is just the length times four, right? Because all of the sides would be the same, right? So if this was six, 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 and they just say that one side of the square is six, then it would just be six times four or 24, right? All right, so hopefully that um, clears some things up for you.